Oh boy, it's Christmas time already and it looks like Santa put some gifts under my Christmas tree. Wow, I definitely would not be scared if the largest FNAF McFarlane collection was sitting underneath my Christmas tree. But what would really scare me if there was a tiny pair of McFarlane Ballora boobies sitting right under this Christmas tree. Let's take a look. In today's video, I'm showing off the complete and 100% full Five Nights at Freddy's McFarlane figure collection. So without further ado, let's get right into this video. So, starting off with the very first thing is the only few sets I still have built. The first one being Pirate's Cove, second one being the FNAF 1 office, and the third one being Purple Guy. Yeah, so... And now, let's get into all of the actual figures of every single McFarlane figure ever made. Going in order of games, we have Classic Freddy, Blacked Out Freddy, Repair Shop Freddy, Bonnie, Bonnie holding his guitar, Chica, Really Weird PP Colored Bright Yellow Chica, Foxy, Eye Patch Running Foxy, Oh my... Big, sexy, anime, six-pack, abs, foxy, golden Freddy, and Endo-01. Now, all these characters were not included in the same wave. They all came out in different waves, but they all are the original five, well, six FNAF characters. The only one who isn't is Anime Foxy, but I'm not going to include him in Ultimate Custom Night just because that's a whole other thing I'll need to go into. So, you know, there's multiple versions of Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, Foxy. Uh, there's where they're going, Freddy, but that's about it. So now on to FNAF 2. Starting off FNAF 2 with the greasy, gunky gamer god, Toy Freddy. Blacked out Toy Freddy, Toy Bonnie, Toy Bonnie with his guitar, Toy Chica, Toy Chica without her beak, <laughs> mm, those are some delicious dogs, Mangle, who's probably built wrong, Mangle's been broken so many times in my little drawer, I completely forgot how you put her body together, the ugliest figure ever made, Balloon Boy, Ew. Why does he look like that? He has a weird little, like, ventriloquist dummy mouth. He has a balloon that's completely the wrong colors and design. I just really hate this figure so much. It is disgusting. Ew. The puppet or marionette. Withered Freddy. Withered Bonnie. Oh, one of the coolest looking figures ever made. And one of the only pieces of Withered Bonnie merch we've ever gotten. Withered Chica, who... Eh, she looks alright. Withered Foxy. Shadow Freddy. And finishing off the wave with Shadow Bonnie. In my personal opinion, all the FNAF 2 characters are the best characters ever made. They look so absolutely incredible as the McFarlane figures, besides Balloon Boy. But McFarlane did such a great job making these, I absolutely love them. And now, on to Wave 3, FNAF 3. I completely forgot Withered Golden Freddy, so here he is. Now, on to FNAF 3. Starting off FNAF 3 with Springtrap, who does not look too good. Phantom Freddy. Phantom Foxy. And Phantom Balloon Boy. Sadly, this is all we have for FNAF 3. We've never gotten any other Phantoms, and we sadly never will, as, well, McFarlane lost their FNAF license. So, even though these look really amazing, I really like how the Phantom animatronics look. Uh, time to go on to FNAF 4. Starting off FNAF 4, we have Nightmare Freddy. The three little Freddle figures, who I love so much, they each have their own unique design, making them look honestly amazing. Nightmare Bonnie. Nightmare Chica, Nightmare Fredbear, Nightmare, Nightmare Balloon Boy, Nightmare on and Nightmare Mangle. All the FNAF 4 characters are extremely cool and do look really good. I, I really like them. So moving on to the next wave, Sister Location, which is probably the second biggest wave besides the FNAF 2 wave. Starting off the next wave, the Sister Location wave with Circus Baby. Ballora, Funtime Freddy, Funtime Foxy, Lolbit, Ennard, one of the coolest figures ever made just because you can remove his little party hat and reveal his whole Ennard head underneath. Yendo, 
and Bitty Bab, a very complete set of figures. Basically, every single, like, sister location character made into these characters. The only ones we're missing are, like, kind of the mini arenas and, and maybe Electro Bag Bab and stuff and maybe Bonnet. But we have basically every single character here entered being, like, the most amazing one out of all of them just because you can move his mask to show his entered head underneath. Bulbit is super cool. And the rest of the figures look really great as well. Now we're moving on to, sadly, the very last game, FNAF 6. And after that, McFarlane got their license taken away. Starting off the Pizzeria Simulator wave with Rockstar Freddy, Rockstar Bonnie, Rockstar Chica, Lefty, sadly no Rockstar Foxy was ever made, Molten Freddy who was built with these really weird legs which don't even allow him to stand up, and our very last character being Grim Foxy, who also happens to be one of the coolest McFarlane figures ever made. But I'm also going to show off some of the cool little, like, tiny figures and accessories and all the, like, little bonus stuff like that. So for all the little bonus stuff, we have this derpy little cupcake. This golden derpy cupcake. The tiny Freddy plush. The tiny Bonnie plush. The tiny Chica plush. The tiny Foxy plush. The little Fredbear plushie with the microphone. Little Joe. The Magician. One of the FNAF 4 toys, the robot. This disembodied Freddy head from FNAF 3. Boobies. A chair. And boobies in a chair. So this is every single McFarlane figure every made, ever made. I do have all the sets except because they're so large, they're all broken down. So currently out in my garage, I only have just a huge cardboard box full of just, well, FNAF McFarlane Lego sets. I really did love the FNAF McFarlane figures. They were such cool characters. All the figures had such well design and effort put into them. The sets were absolutely incredible. And honestly, it really is a shame that McFarlane had lost their FNAF license. The McFarlane line was such a cool line of FNAF merch, and I know every single person would absolutely love for McFarlane to come back and especially do some security breach sets. That'd be one of the coolest things ever just because, well, the attention to detail and quality on all the McFarlane Five Nights at Freddy sets is just really uncompared to any other FNAF merch. The only one that ever gets close to it is the new FNAF Funko snap sets, but let's be honest, they will never beat McFarlane. So, I have to say, rest in peace, McFarlane. You really made some amazing things, including the 8 bit pixel figures. Those are really cool. It'd be nice if those also made a comeback. But rest well, McFarlane. You had some amazing Five Nights at Freddy sets. I know everyone would love it if you came back, but I hate to kind of burst your guys' bubble. I don't think McFarlane is ever going to come back or ever make any FNAF sets ever again, which really is truly disappointing because of just how well the FNAF sets made were. Let me know in the comments below how well. Did you guys like the McFarlane FNAF sets? Let me know, because honestly, I really loved these FNAF McFarlane sets. They were so cool. Let me know how many McFarlane sets you have as well. They're kind of old and rare at this point. So, yeah, that's it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do all that stuff, and enter in the giveaways in literally, like, the previous video and stuff. But, yeah, that's it for today's video, and I will see you all later. Good?